Hi, I'm Tristan Ziegler with Hazelcast, and in this video, I'll walk you through setting up a Hazelcast cluster using a tutorial that's available online at the link in the description below for this video. If you want to properly make full use of the Hazelcast platform, it's critical that you're able to properly set up a Hazelcast cluster for processing stream data. Fortunately, the Hazelcast distribution package makes this pretty easy to do. We can use either a Java process or a Docker instance for this. I'll go through both, starting with Java. To download the package, you can simply paste and run the following code onto your command line if you're on Linux. Otherwise, you can download it manually by clicking here. Make sure you also have a Java development kit installed on the computer. Anything 1.8 or above should work. Once you have the package downloaded, open your terminal or command line and navigate to the directory where it's held. Type in bin jet start to start an instance of Hazelcast and wait for it to load. It might take a little bit, but after that, you should see that you now have one Hazelcast node running. And you'll be running the node in the background as you work with processing stream data, so we can just leave it here for now. At any point, you can terminate the cluster with Control c With that running in the background, we can check the status of the cluster if we would like. Open a new terminal window, and navigate back to the package directory. This time, type bin jet cluster and this will detect any instances of Hazelcast that are currently running and return the state. Finally, let's submit a simple JAR file to the cluster. The Hazelcast package has a prepackaged job called Hello World that you can submit to make sure that everything is working as intended. Type in bin, jet submit, examples, hello world.jar. And if you run it, you should see this output and it will keep running until we terminate it. Now, let's run the same thing as a Docker image. Hazelcast has an official Docker image for the Hazelcast platform, so all we need to do is type in docker run hazelcast slash hazelcast jet. And if you haven't downloaded the image yet, it will download now. It should only take about a minute or two. Once we've done that, it should run like normal. Open a new terminal window and go back to the Hazelcast package directory. Now go back to the tutorial page and copy the line here and paste it into the command line. But before you run it, double check to make sure that the IP address in the Docker node matches the IP in the command line code and change it if needed. So I'll change my two to a three. And Docker might request access to wherever you're keeping the package, but just press Ooh. OK if that happens and now you should be getting the following output. You can terminate it at any time, and with that, you've officially submitted a job to the Hazelcast cluster. Thank you for watching.